welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new welcome i'm nina the simple kenyan girl if you have not hit that subscribe button please make sure you do that and turn on the notification bell to get every upload that i do right coming right your way so i have a messy sunburn as you can see but i'm trying to treat it with some coconut oil it's not itchy but yeah Today it's story time, I'm still continuing and uh, do my makeup and yeah, you see how it goes. I think that's the fun, the fun way of doing it. Yeah, so if you're pregnant, if you're a young mom as I am, welcome, welcome, welcome and uh, yeah, don't forget to leave your comment your comments about every topic every thing that we talk about here yeah for today elaborate more on uh, the first month of having a newborn yeah so just gonna do my eyebrows real quick out of the camera and then i come back if you wanna see how I do my eyebrows make sure you check the card up and yeah so yeah that's it mm -hmm. when you give birth the first um, the first 24 hours you are super excited you don't want to leave that kid you don't want like you want to look at this creature perfect creature that has been growing in your womb and just stare <laughs> like the past 24 hours and um, it's stressful not for every woman but it's a little bit stressful so the first 24 hours are that that crazy and it's it's so beautiful there's this video like ongoing of a woman who who gave birth and the doctors told her that the, the baby died and she really really prayed until that baby came back to life like that is how powerful prayers are like if you just commit it never goes wrong yeah and that 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 video like is an inspiration to many of us who are young moms and many of us who are expectant and uh, many of us who want to be mothers in the future if you have not yet gotten pregnant and you're trying don't lose hope pray like leave it to god just pray 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 fast and something will happen it will happen and believe don't wait don't don't just stay and uh, listen to people tell you like you have to do this that no just pray prayers move mountains and that's <laughs> today's inspiration like i was so inspired by that woman oh my goodness yeah when you give birth it's 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 that 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 moment is like that moment like you don't want you don't want that moment to go you don't want to miss out on that moment <laughs> yeah just few days uh by few days i mean the first two weeks i'll advise um stay chilled when you give birth if it's through cesarean um, or if it's through natural birth stay calm don't stress your baby is here he's he or she is safe and you both are trying to learn each other embrace that moment let let your motherly instincts take over and by that I mean 
uh, if you want to breastfeed and you're sure this is what you want go for it and uh, there are nowadays if you yeah nowadays you don't have to drink like the traditional porridge the traditional porridge like brings they say it brings a tummy tuck but not really it depends it depends on how the intake that you're you're having and it actually depends on how you're taking care of yourself and by taking care of yourself I, I mean when you give birth this is something else let me just put everything down when you give birth first things first check if your tummy is hurting because we are told to make sure we we put something on that bum so that it can go away faster if your tummy is hurting don't force it don't force it if it's not hurting you can try wear a waist mm, there are a lot of waist trainers out there which help to bring all that fat back like together yeah so the thing all that i used to drink most was chocolate like cocoa the orange cocoa uh drink that is what i used to drink most hot chocolate with um hot chocolate with a uh, little amount of sugar and that was so helpful because it enabled my tum it enabled my tummy to be tucked in faster because i was i was putting a band on it um something else that really helped i i couldn't produce milk like i i i really craved to breastfeed i did breastfeed but i really craved to breastfeed and i was so stressed that i couldn't breastfeed at that time but be patient with yourself and that's something i i didn't know like i had to be really patient so that my body will just work on its own pace and that's what happened after after three days something was coming out but not as strong but after two weeks i stopped using anything else because i had started giving him some formula and some of my breasts but i didn't know like how to balance it first time moms you all know but when i got to a certain point like i was no i am doing exclusive i do not care if in, if my body is not accepting this but i am doing it and that's when i started like exclusive breast feeding i i was going really hard on it and so hard on myself to a point when he goes to five months that's another story but i was i started shedding off my weight like like i started becoming like this one size yes yeah, so that is how it goes the first the first month the first to the first three months are so critical in breastfeeding how you are napping and um, another thing <laughs> they say most people out there say when that baby sleeps sleep who'll do the chores hmm? Hmm? Um, not blaming anyone. If you're planning to have a baby, just be sure. Of one thing you're giving up your sleep not for the rest of your life 
but until those kids get to uh, one and a half years or or three or two years but after they get there you are assured they'll be sleeping but after that you have to now start worrying <laughs> of what they are consuming uh, on TV because that's the moment they realize what their identity is and you really don't want that their innocence to go away like that fast and you want to be there for them until you can be able to tell them what's right and wrong that's till seven years and then from there you start to you start worrying <laughs> about their teenager when they're teenagers but it's a journey and it's incredible as women to experience that it's just amazing and I think we should be really appreciative of that and whatever that we are letting these kids consume so back to my point when you have a kid the first three months they sleep three hours wake up breastfeed go back to sleep they are so tired all the time I don't know why they are so tired I've never understood that <laughs> but I think um, it's I know it's just their brain developing and adapting the environment that they are in as of, as of that moment but from three years they wake up okay that's my own experience my son when he got from three months he was waking up every uh during the day every four or five hours and that night i'm just gonna apply concealer too yeah if you notice i don't apply foundation on my face but I have a foundation that I rarely use because it's so dark it's dark on my face which um, that's why I think that's why I don't use it so often so I just take I don't really have the dark parts any dark parts like on my but from this spot it's, ma it's a mark actually yeah let me just create the bone structure bone structure bone structure Love it. <laughs> Stop going away. I think KKW can work here, but I don't have any of that products, any of KKW's products. But we just gonna work with what we have, so I'm just gonna put on a top that covers everything and let it sit and wait until it goes away i'm just gonna apply this beautiful orange on my so i learned a trick that i'll show you guys of how to make this stick wait some powder not to mess all this up right okay so <laughs> All right, I, I, I get so hyped up when I do my makeup and it actually comes out like better than I expected. I'm not a professional, but I'm getting there just for my own pace and my own, yeah. Today I just don't want to sit and talk and talk and talk. I want to do something too, so that when we fit, when you get done, 
I like definition on my eyes like I like it like that. I like it like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. From four to six months, they sleep pretty much. You wake up probably once or twice at night to breastfeed, and then during the day, you wake. They sleep um, three times or two times. It depends. Look at that beauty. Beauty. Oh. Hold up. Who is It's me. Um, gosh, where was I? Okay, so everyone has a different way of doing their own makeup, so I just go with the flow, go how I feel like doing it. Anyway, after when that baby um, gets to roughly nine, six to nine months. They sleep twice um, a day and then at night they'll wake up depending on how often they feed like during the day and when they go to sleep you feed them and they are like full on they might sleep the whole night actually but once on and off not all the time they, they sleep the whole night best thing you can do take care of that kid embrace your motherhood journey don't listen to what people tell you okay listen take what's important and don't compare your kid with other kids they develop differently the others who delay a little but the others who catch up so fast and that's the beauty of this journey not all them not all of them they are the same others have mind-blowing developments others have slow developments others have all kinds of developments you can think of and that's what makes it like a whole new level of experience yeah feel great so that I can just <laughs> feel myself today. I'm not going out. Imagine I'm not going out. And this is just, it is what it is. I really like one of you guys to join me probably on a live or you record yourself and tell me how you're experiencing this and you DM me that and include all those clips to see how different it is every every mother in this journey welcome Zibia oh yeah that's his name yeah, someone asked me what my cute baby boy's name is. He's named Xavier. If you refer to him as Xavier, hi Xavier, you say hi. <laughs> so that's the name he's used to most. And that's his name. Light rice water. If you haven't checked my last video, make sure you go check it out. I have light rice water on my hair, and boy, oh boy, this hair has grown like tremendously. So I tried doing my normal uh, 
fringe over here again but it's coming up to here and i am like oh my goodness i gotta help you ah i think i'll still continue using rice water i want to see how it's gonna go like for a month yeah it's it's gonna be exciting like what in the world <laughs> quick trick just gonna show you how to rock those lips so apply Moms, if someone tells you, you you have to stop doing whatever you're doing, like putting on a lot of makeup, you are allowed. You are allowed. There's still that little girl in you. Go do that. Be yourself. You are allowed to be a hot mom, okay? <laughs> oh, yeah. is it for today make sure you hit the subscribe button if you like these tutorials like the small makeup stuff i know i can be all over myself the whole day so if you really like these videos <laughs> make sure you give it a thumbs up if you would like to see more of this crazy makeup like transformation make sure you comment down on the section below and tell me what more would you like to see like mm -hmm. okay all right oh my god that reminds me so much of sakina i will see you guys on the next video make sure you subscribe if you want to see more of this and turn on that notifi notification bell cheers ladies cheers gents i'll see you guys oh my god this is such a new character anyway <laughs> bye bye see you give a very very big shout out to Paris Wanjiro that is my old bestie from way back in primary school girl thanks for your support thanks for that comment it keeps me going yeah